All right, thanks, guys. We are coming off a perfect 3-0 day in our college football picks yesterday. That's going to put us at 6-0 on the season thus far. In that college football tier, if you're a $100 player, you're already up 600 bucks, and we haven't even made it through week one yet. So anyway, check me out. That's on my Patreon website, patreon.com slash Brock Page. Make sure you get linked up with that college football package right now. It's the first of the month, so you're getting absolute max value today. Uh, you sign up today. Uh, your card will only get billed once and uh, won't get auto-billed until the first of next month. It won't get billed until October 30. I'm sorry, October 1st. So uh, you're going to get 30 full days of premium college football plays. And like I said, we are 6-0 in college football right now. Patreon.com slash Brock Page. Let's go ahead and get into some Major League Baseball action. Uh, all starts Eastern Standard Time here for this Sunday. And we're going to begin with the Athletics taking on the Yankees. 105 Eastern first pitch in Yankee Stadium. The Yankees are minus 130, totals 11. We saw a 10 cent fade of the Yankees and movement upward on the total. New York opened $1.40, down to minus 130. Total open 10.5, up to 11. 57% are leaning Yankees, 59% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Athletics are plus 120 on the money line. The Yankees plus a buck 30 on the run line. We have Sean Manaya for the Athletics, Jay Happ for the Yankees. Uh, nice to see Manaya back in action. Uh, we haven't seen him in a very long time. Uh, Jay Happ on the other side. He's 11 and 8 on the year. 112 strikeouts. The Yankees have the best record in Major League Baseball. They're 89 and 48 overall for the year. 49 games. Uh, I'm sorry, 41 games over 500. And they also rank second in scoring on average per contest. Now, the A's on the other side, they are 16th in hits, 29th in road strikeouts, which uh, is second to last in Major League Baseball. And when it comes to the number, the Yankees are 6-1 and one to the under in their last seven. Give me the Bronx Bombers. The Yankees minus 130 in the over 11 runs in that game. Next matchup, Reds, Cards, 105 St. Louis. Now, that is game one of a doubleheader here on Sunday. Now, the Cards in game one are minus 155, totals 8.5. We saw a 10 cent move towards St. Louis and movement upward on the total. The cards open a buck 45, up to 155. Total open eight, up to eight and a half. 69% are leaning St. Louis, 72% shaded toward the over. Right now, Cincy is plus 145 on the money line. We have Tyler Molly for the Reds, Miles Michaelis for the cards. Michaelis comes into this game with an 8 and 13 record, 432 ERA. Meanwhile, Molly on the other side has struck out 106 batters on the year. Now the Reds, pretty good cashing those run line plays on the road. They're 40 and 26 against the spread when traveling. And of course, when I refer to the spread or covering or the number in Major League Baseball, I'm referring to the run line. So once again, the Reds 40 and 26 ATS away from home. They're fifth and runs allowed when traveling. They're also fourth in road strikeouts. Now, uh, St. Louis on the other side, they rank 24th in hits, 20th in home strikeouts. And when it comes to the total, St. Louis is 41 and 24 to the under at home. So with all that said and done, I'm leaning toward the road dog in this one. Give me the Reds plus one and a half and the under eight and a hook. All right, guys, before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and just welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Sunday's Major League Baseball action right here on Labor Day weekend. I hope a lot of you have tomorrow off to where you can just sit back and chill and enjoy the games here on Sunday. But uh, I just got to remind you real quick, like I said at the beginning of the show, we are a perfect 6-0 and in our college football tier right now. 6-0 in our college football pra uh, package. We went 3-0 in week 0. We went 3-0 and yesterday uh, in, in week 1. Uh, if you're $100 better, you're up $600. Bucks. If you're $1,000 better, you're up six grand already. And we're not even to, uh, through week 1 already. So make sure you check that out. There's plenty of free content there as well. And if you don't feel like uh, you know paying for the college football membership, we have packages that begin at just $1.99 per month. There's a ton of great information on that site. Make sure you at least click the link below and check it out. That's patreon.com slash Brock Page. There's plenty of free content there as well, including my current record. So check me out on that site. Link is in the description section below. 
Uh, most importantly, yesterday, I was at the Burger Festival, and uh, the total went under. I set the line at four and a half burgers that I would consume uh, during an eight-hour festival, and uh, I went under. I went two and a half burgers. Uh, you know, I think maybe the... Uh, the Red Robin Lager and the Yingling Lager had a little bit uh, something to do with filling me up. Plus, there were some pretty good uh, potato. Uh, what was it called? A tornado? A potato tornado contraption that was very good. That had uh, cheese whiz on it and, and, and crabby seasoning. So, uh, I got distracted, guys. I wasn't focused. And the total went under the four and a half. Uh, if you want to check out the action, I did post a picture of myself and my wife and uh, family at the Burger Fest as we were all drunk. And you can check that out right here on YouTube. No, we weren't drunk. Too much food to get drunk. Too many burgers and greasy food to get drunk. But we were certainly well hydrated. All right, let's go ahead and slide into some more Major League Baseball action. Uh, all starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the Astros taking on the Blue Jays, 107 Toronto. The Astros are the $3 favorite, totals at 9. We saw a nickel move toward Houston, a movement downward on the total. The Astros open 295, up to minus 300. Total open 9.5, down to 9 flat. 66% are leaning Houston, 54% shaded toward the over. Right now the Blue Jays are plus 260 on the money line. The Astros minus a buck 70 on the run line. We have Justin Verlander for the Strohs, Wilmer Font for the Blue Jays. Font comes into this game with a 4.35 ERA. Meanwhile, Verlander on the other side, uh, 16 and 5 on the year, 2.69 ERA, 0 0.80 WHIP. He's also struck out 243 batters thus far in the year. Now Toronto's last in hits, 29th in walks allowed, which is second to last in Major League Baseball. And total wise, the Astros five and one to the over in their last six. I know that there's been a couple upsets uh, earlier in the year with Verlander on the bump. Not going to happen today. Give me the Astros minus one and a half and the over nine runs in that game. Next matchup. Twins, Tigers, 110 Detroit. The Twins are the $2 favorite. Totals 9.5. We saw a nickel move toward Minnesota and movement upward on the total. The Twins open 195 up to 200. Total open 9 up to 9.5. 65% are leaning Twins. 73% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Tigers are plus 175 on the money line. The Twins minus a buck 20 on the run line. We have Michael Pineda for the Twins, Spencer Turnbull for the Tigers. Turnbull's just 3 and 13 with a 4.18 ERA and a 1.40 whip. Pineda on the other side, 10 and 5 on the year, 1.17 whip, 121 strikeouts. The Tigers are the worst team in Major League Baseball. Minnesota is first in scoring, second in hits. And when it comes to the number, Minnesota 75% to the over in their last eight. Give me the Twins minus one and a half in the over nine and a half in that game. Next matchup, Indians, Rays, 110 Tampa Bay. The Rays are minus 185 with the total at eight. We saw a nickel fade of Tampa Bay and movement downward on the total. The Rays open a buck 90 down to 185. Total open eight and a half down to eight flat. 54% are leaning Cleveland, 65% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Indians are plus 170 on the money line. The Rays plus a buck 10 on the run line. We have Adam Plucko for the Indians, Charlie Morton for the Rays. Now, Morton, as good as he's been, he's actually walked 47 batters thus far in the year. Meanwhile, Adam Plucko on the other side for the Indians, he's 6-3 and three with a 1.14 whip. He also has 56 strikeouts and 83 innings. The Rays have dropped four out of their last seven. They're also just 28-39 and 39 against the spread at home. They rank 23rd in home scoring on average per game, 28th in home offensive strikeouts. Now Cleveland on the other side, pretty good covering that run line when traveling. They're 40-28 and 28 ATS away from home. First in runs allowed on the road, third in hits allowed in that same category. And when it comes to the total, the Indians are 70% to the under in their last 10. They're also 6-2 and two to the under in their last eight. Uh, taking on uh, their opponent here today, this afternoon. So with all that in mind, I'm going to lean Cleveland plus one and a half and the under eight runs in that game. Next matchup, Marlins. Nationals, 135, Nations Capital. The Nats are minus 260, totals at nine. Ten cent move toward Washington and movement upward on the total. The Nats open, two, uh, open 250, up to 260. Total open eight and a half up to nine. Sixty-six percent are leaning Nationals. Fifty-six percent shaded toward the under. Right now the Marlins are plus two thirty on the money line. The Nats minus a buck twenty on the run line. With Caleb Smith for the Marlins, Patrick Corbin for the Nats. 
Corbin's 10 and 6 with a 3.15 ERA and a 1.13 WHIP. He's also struck out 193 batters on the year. Caleb Smith on the other side for the Marlins comes into this matchup with a 4.05 ERA. Washington is three and a half games ahead for that first wild card spot in the National League. They're 76 and 58 overall for the year, sixth in home scoring, uh, first in home hits. Meanwhile, the Marlins on the other side, they are the worst team in the National League. They have the worst record in the NL right now, and they also rank dead last in road scoring. So with all that in mind, I'm going to lean Nationals minus one and a half in the over nine runs in that game. Next matchup, Orioles, Royals, 215 Kansas City, Kauffman Stadium. The Royals are minus a buck and a quarter, totals nine and a half. We saw a nickel move toward KC and moving downward on the total. The Royals open a buck 20 up to 125, total open 10 down to nine and a half. 57% are leaning Kansas City, 75% shaded back toward the over. Right now, Baltimore is plus 115 on the money line. The Royals plus a buck 55 on the run line. We have Aaron Brooks for the O's, Danny Duffy for the Royals. Duffy's 5 and 6 with a 4.93 ERA and a 1.40 whip. KC's dropped 8 out of their last 11 ball games. They rank 27th in scoring on average per game, 25th in hits, 28th in hits allowed. And when it comes to the number, KC is 6 and 1 of the over in their last 7. I like the road dog in this one. I like that plus money. Give me Baltimore plus a buck 15 and the over 9 and a hook. Next game, Brewers. Cubbies, 220 Eastern first pitch at Wrigley Field in Chicago. The Cubs are minus a buck 70, totals eight and a half. We saw a 20 cent move towards Chicago and movement downward on the total. The Cubs open a buck 50, up to minus 170, total open nine, down to eight and a half. 59% are leaning Cubs, and at the moment, the Brewers are plus 160 on the money line. The Cubbies plus a buck 20 on the run line. We have Gio Gonzalez for the Brewers, you Darvish for the Cubs. Darvish is 5-6 with a 4-2-5 ERA. He's also walked 52 batters on the year thus far. Meanwhile, Gonzalez on the other side, 64 innings pitched, 58 strikeouts. Milwaukee's third in offensive walks, 10 in strikeouts. Uh, the Cubbies on the other side, uh, 19th in hits, 20th in offensive strikeouts. Losers in four out of their last five at Wrigley. I'm going to lean Milwaukee plus 1.5 and, and the over 8.5. Next game. Mariners, Rangers, 305 Texas. The Rangers are a buck and a quarter, totals 10 and a half. We did see a nickel fade of Texas and movement upward on the total. The Rangers open a buck 30, down the minus 125, total open 10, up to 10 and a half. 68% are leaning Rangers, and at the moment, the Mariners are plus 115 on the money line. We have Yusei Kikuchi for the Mariners, Brett Martin for the Rangers. Martin struck out 50 batters in 53 innings. Kikuchi on the other side for Seattle. Bit of a disappointment this year. Just 5-9 on the year. 5-3-6 ERA, 1.48 whip. The Rangers are 40-28 and 28 at home this year. Fourth in home scoring. Eighth in home hits. The Mariners are last in the AL West. Just 57-80 and 80 overall for the season. They also rank 28th in offensive strikeouts. When it comes to the total, Seattle's 42-26 and 26 of the over when traveling. I'm going to lean Rangers minus a buck and a quarter in the over 10 and a half in that game. Next matchup, Pirates, Rockies, 310 Colorado. The Rockies are minus a buck and a quarter, totals 14. We saw a 20 cent move toward Colorado and movement downward on the total. This one pretty much open as a coin flip. Both teams minus 105. Now Colorado once again minus 125. Total open 14 and a hook, down to 14 flat. 58% are leaning Colorado, 54% shaded toward the under. Right now, Pittsburgh's plus 115 on the money line. The Rockies plus a buck 50 on the run line. We have Stephen Brault for the Pirates, Jeff Hoffman for the Rockies. Hoffman's just 1 and 4 with a 7.81 ERA and a 1.66 whip. Stephen Brought on the other side for Pittsburgh, 3 and 3 on the year, 75 strikeouts. Pittsburgh 6th in hits, 2nd in offensive Ks. They're also 9th in striking batters out on the road. The Pirates have actually won seven out of their last nine ball games. They're also a perfect 5 0 in their last five at Coors Field. Uh, speaking of Coors Field, the Rockies have dropped nine out of their last 10. And as a matter of fact, that's nine out of their last 10 at any location. That's just not at Coors Field. Once again, the Rockies just one and nine in their last 10 ball games. They also rank 29th in runs allowed, which is second to last in Major League Baseball. They also rank dead last in hits allowed. I'm going to lean Pirates plus a buck 15 in the under 14 in that game. Next matchup Padres, Giants, 405 San Francisco. 
The Giants are minus 130, totals at 8. We saw a 15 cent move towards San Francisco, moving downward on the total. The Giants open a buck 15, up to 130. Total open 9, down to 8.5. 56% are leaning Giants, 66% shade, uh, shaded toward the under. Right now, San Diego's plus 120 on the money line. The Giants plus a buck 80 on the run line. We have Eric Lauer for the Padres, Jeff Samarja for the Giants. Samarja comes into this game with a 3.38 ERA, 1.09 whip. He's also struck out 126 batters. Now, Eric Lauer for the Padres, just 7 and 8 on the year, 4.48 ERA, 1.41 whip. The Padres are 26th in scoring, 29th in hits, which is second to last in Major League Baseball. They've lost six out of their last 10. They're also just 3-8 and eight in their last 11 head-to-head matchups with the Giants. Now, when it comes to the number, San Diego's 75% to the under in their last eight when traveling. I'm going to lean Giants minus buck thirty in the under eight runs in that game. Next matchup, Red Sox, Angels, 407 Los Angeles. The Red Sox are minus a buck ten, totals nine and a half. Pretty good two-way action on the money line. Not a whole lot of movement there. We did see a little bit of movement upward on the total. The Red Sox open a buck ten, and they remain minus one ten. Total open nine up to nine and a half. Sixty-nine percent are leaning Boston, sixty-two percent shaded toward the over. Right now the Angels are minus one oh two on the money line. The Red Sox plus a buck forty-five on the run line. We have David Price for the Sox, Andrew Heaney for the Angels. Heaney's walked 23 batters in 70 innings. Price on the other side, 7-5 and five on the year, 126 strikeouts. The Angels have dropped 7 out of their last 9. They rank 23rd in runs allowed at home. The Red Sox on the other side, pretty good when traveling. They're 39-29 and 29 away from home, 7-2 and two in their last 9 on the road as well. They rank 1st in offensive hits in Major League Baseball. Now, total-wise, Boston's 5-0 and to the over in their last five at Los Angeles at the Angels. Meanwhile, uh, the Angels are 12-6 and to the over in their last 18. I'm going to lean Red Sox, minus 110 in the over, 9.5. Next game, 